Hello, welcome to Chapter Crafts again. Uh, Holger here. Um, I've come with a long awaited project, uh, says I was going to be doing one of these. Now, what it is, it's one of the kits. Um, you might have seen it in the Springs of my catalogue, but what I'm going to do is just to show you what you get in the kit and also uh, what uh, how easy it is basically to do these cards. Right, now this is the refill kit, but this is what you get in the kit. You will get, as you can tell, I've used these already, get your stamps. Uh, you will get a stamping block, which, yeah, get a stamping spot, which is in basic black. Um, you will also get... Two, uh, you also get four of the crayon, the watercolour pencils, one clip to a coral, lemon lime twist, I think it's old olive, and rich raspberry, I think. And these two are the ones that's not actually in the kit. So these two are um, not actually with the Stampin' Up watercolour pencils. These are exclusive to this. And this is the lots of happy card kit okay now because this is a refill pack um i've not opened this other bit but yeah you get in a lovely box get the instructions of how to do each card and also you get all the equipment you need as well right so let's go for it um, and what with because I've done this just because I've done one of these cards before what you get is this one which I think it's quite cute and you get the little envelope with it as well um, and I think there's oh dear I think we've got four of each and you get five designs so that's one get four of this one as well uh, follow this one with the envelopes as well absolutely gorgeous four design is it yeah five then you got the four that one two three one two three four don't know where my other one is oh well but yeah this is what this is the other one what okay so i'm just going to show you how easy it is to put uh, what we're going to do, we're going to do this little one. Okay, so inside this kit, ooh, right, you will get your instructions. Okay, you will get some dimensionals, you will get the ombre, I think it's lemon lime, lime twist, I'm not entirely sure, ribbon. You will get envelopes to go with all of your projects so we'll put them away envelopes. right you also get four sheets of these which just pop out which absolutely look gorgeous um card bases so there you've got the card bases for all of your projects. Put them there. Um, one minute, because we'll need. We'll take one out that we need now, which is the smallest one. Okay. Um, you will also get ooh, four sheet. Uh, I think it's one, two, four sheets. I don't know if you can see, but you've got, let me just pop, pop out, leaves, all different ones, which I don't think we need for this project. No, we don't. So we'll pop them back. Um, you will get two sheets of these, which are, you've got two smaller ones and two longer ones. So you've got two sheets of them. You have also got uh, two sheets of there, there, 
Make sure eyes go funny. Too smaller, too longer than the which we will need one of those and this is how easy it is to pop out okay so we need one of those and then you get um some of these foil ones absolutely gorgeous which we'll need one of those and again just pop them out like so we need one of those. I bent that slightly. Then you will get as well four sheets of these, which absolutely gorgeous. I think these are, and the one we need is this one. Okay, so we'll just pop that out and we'll pop the rest there. And we'll also need ooh, one of those. Okay, right, so like I said, in the booklet you get with it, it does show you, if we're going for this one, it does show you what you will need. So you will need a one, all those, okay, and then when you open the booklet, no, it just shows you what you will need, okay. So you will need little note card, the stripy background, the flowers, that and that on top, okay. So right, let's leave in that open. What we will do, we will use some wet glue and we'll stick this onto our card like so using wet glue this time so we've got a bit of wiggle room okay and then what i'll do is i'll just get my bone folder and just make sure that's properly stuck down okay Oh, you know what I've gone and done. Oh dear, never mind. Right, let's go another card because what we've done is took it on the inside and instead of the outside. Silly. Right. That's what you will have to look out for. I'd rather make the mistakes for you. Um rather than you making the mistakes. At least you can learn from me. Right, so we'll get another background. Oh, sort that later. Right, start again. Right, we'll pop this on the correct side this time. Okay, and okay, what we'll do. Okay, so that's that one on. Right, then we'll get a flower. And what I've just added to it is we've added the blend pen to it. Okay, so what we will do, we'll do some of these leaves. Dark around the base. Dark around the base of a leaf. And we'll go up that one as well. And what we'll do, we'll just get the lemon lime twist to just add a bit of colour in there. Don't worry about it all blending in, we'll sort that just lay the colour down onto your leaf. I've missed one there. Okay. 
Okay. Right. And we'll get the blend pen. And what we'll do is we will work up the leaf like so. Clean it off. Work that old olive in. Clean it off. Okay, so work the old olive in, clean it off slightly and go to tip your leaf. Okay, tip your leaf. That's it. Again, what we're doing, we're working the old olive in and moving it to the outside. Work the old olive in so you get less of a pencil look. Clean it off slightly and just work the rest of the colour in so you get it dark at the base. Like so, clean some off. There we go. Right. Then what we'll do, we'll do two colours. The flowers we'll be doing. Uh, clips or color but again what you want to do is you want to put heavy color around the base of the leaf, each leaf like so because if you imagine these the top she leaves that's where the light is coming down onto them not an expert to it but this is how I do it um, again like I say it's up to you Okay, like that, and we'll just smoosh some colour around down here. Another bit of dark. Okay. You have to excuse me if I keep sniffing, I've got a bit of a runny nose. Right, okay. Right, again, just put some colour down on there, just so when you blend it all in, it goes together. Right, then what we're going to do before we blend that in, we're going to get the rich raspberry, and we're just going to pop some colour onto these. So that bit wants to be quite dark, so that's in shade. Okay, and we'll put some colour on them. Don't have to be perfect. <laughs> Won't spend a lot of time on these little bits, to be honest. Right, so we'll go for dark colour in there. Right, now we'll get the blend pen. Right, first of all, what we're going to do, we're just going to on these little ones, just smush the colour around. To, so you don't get that pencil look. Okay, and these again, work from the bottom, drag it up. Okay, right from the bottom, drag it up. There we go. I don't know if you can see that, but with that one and that one, they do look darker at the bottom than at the top. Right, then with these, what we're going to do as well is we might add a bit more colour. Right, 
Right, what we're going to do is going to get my blend pen and rub it on the Calypso Coral. Okay, and we'll just add a bit more colour around the base of each petal. Again, you don't have to be perfect because, um, like I say, you only see little bits. But if you're anything like me, you will know that no matter what, you will underneath that flower because you could just do the outside bits. But you will know. I don't know, but. If it was me, I would like all the flower to be coloured in. Because then I know if somebody does go, oh yeah, it is coloured in, you know. I'm, I'm a bit nosy like that, and I'm sure there's other people are. Right. Okay, now here comes the fun part. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to stick this flower down first using some wet glue on the back okay and then we'll pop that on so the leaves don't overlap oh excuse me overlap the edge of the card okay right then we'll get the gold piece wet glue down the middle Pop that on as well, okay. Right, then, stamping. Right, so what we're looking for is sending you lots of lots of happy. Okay, so this one up here, um, a stamping block. So, again, when you come to these, if you put it face down the way it's going to be stamped, line it up on your grid paper, then all you need to do is come along and pick it up like so. Right, then all you have to do is let me just Plenty of ink on and make sure you're in the middle and pop it down. Give it plenty of time. We'll pop the lid on that, otherwise I'll ink all over my fingers. Right, then we'll pick that up. Oh look at that. And look at the state of my hands already. Right, we will clean that. Way, otherwise, I will lose it. Okay, then what you want is your dimensionals. You just get a couple on the back, bring in your card. Oh, do you know, I always struggle. No nails, normally, they come off fairly easily. When I've done it right. Okay, then all you do is you pop that over the middle like so. Pop that down. And there we go. With the envelope. And um, that's how easy it is to do. Um, absolutely love these kits because you can get uh, 20. Is it 20? Just have a look. Yeah. 20 cards, you can do them on the go, on the train, hospital, anywhere you like really. Um, and you get everything and it all comes in a nice box. But yeah, so that's how easy these cards are. They have got other ones in the annual catalogue as well, which are absolutely perfect for what you need. Um, all different things in them. Everything comes in a box that you need for that particular project that particular kit which 
brilliant buy for money plus you can also get the refills as well but yeah if uh all the links are below to my shop my stampin up shop my uh facebook uh my oh i can't think now and my blog um and also if you would like to join my team all right then thank you very much bye